This is Rick Sparver, and I'd like to demonstrate my electronic edge finder on my uh, Craftsman Atlas 12-inch lathe. Uh, to start, as with any edge finder, you've got to have clean surfaces. So I've got here alcohol, spray it on the area, take some paper, clean off any debris not so concerned about grease and oil because the uh, cutter will go through that but any swarf will potentially change the accuracy. Here is my uh, improved electronic edge finder that has a threshold of about nominally 2.06 ohms and this is my new uh, its combination indicator and uh, electrical contact. So it's magnetic. The top light is a super bright white. The bottom one is red. And this has a curved bottom with a magnet. It's meant to connect up uh, over the uh, compound dial or the uh, crossbeam dial. And uh, so I get a nice bright white light when I'm uh, turning the dial and then it turns red when I arrive at the touchdown. To connect up, there's magnets in, there's a magnet in this probe. I simply drop it down on my chuck and you can see that as I turn in, it will switch from white to red. So now I'm setting my compound, my, my cross feed dial and I can feed in again. Right now I'm at a thou away, half a thou away, and it was off about a two tenths. So I'm going to do that again. Thou, half, right there. So I'm exactly lined up on the scribe line. So now I've touched down with this cutter, and uh, when I disconnect the wires, the circuit powers down. There's no drain on the battery when it's just sitting idle like this. Now let's say uh, I'm done cutting with this left-hand cutter. So I come in here and I put in my right-hand cutter. And again, I want to make sure that it's clean. And I got the problem of I want to pick up on that same surface. Not a problem at all. Put my electronic edge finder down. And again, I feed in until I hit zero. And of course, I, I'm not, the dial is no longer right. But thou over half right on. So I've now set this right-hand cutter at exactly the same in-feed as my left-hand cutter. And I can just then take away the uh, edge finder and get to work. Now this does require at least a uh, about a two and a half ohm change in resistance between uh, not touch down and touching down and not all lathes will do that. If your lathe has spindle bearings or babbitted bearings, it won't do that. Uh, if it's ball bearing, then you have a, a chance. These are Timken bearings, and on my machine, uh, I get plenty of resistance. So it's, it's on the order of 40 ohms, in fact. Now, sometimes I have to rotate the spindle by hand just a few degrees in order to move the oil around, because that's what I'm depending on for insulation. Uh, so after you connect it up, so you may have to bump it. Uh, I recommend that you find a, get access to a, an ohm meter that can measure down into the uh, less than 5 ohm range. Just be sure that it's worth your time to make one of these. Uh, because there's going to be a whole class of lathes where it just doesn't work. Uh, the threshold is set to 2.06 nominally. Uh, it's very easy with the change of one resistor value to get that down to less than an ohm. But uh, you're awfully close to a short there, so 
if you get if you're trying to figure out the difference between two values that are closer than half an ohm apart, the circuit's going to have trouble. Uh, but if you want to have the threshold be one and a half ohms instead of 2.06, that's not so hard to do. Uh, so I hope that you uh, enjoyed this, and uh, hopefully, if you make it, I'd certainly like to hear from you. There's also another video showing me using this on my Ronfu 30 mil. So that's all for now.